What's up guys, this is your boy Ari and today we're going to be speaking about the biggest mistake people make when dancing their salsa basic with correct body movement. So if you want to know the answer, stay tuned and let's get to it. Alright, so the answer to the question is the biggest mistake people make in salsa body movement is weight transfer. Guys, the most common mistake people make is dancing with inappropriate weight transfer. Dude. So today we're going to be talking about how important it is to have correct weight transfer in salsa and a little bit about the counteraction between your hips and your feet. Okay, so for the purpose of this video what I'm going to do, I'm going to tuck my shirt and I'm going to pull my pants up just so you can see my hips and my feet a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, so here's the trick. Let's talk about what you shouldn't be doing, okay? And this is one of the biggest mistakes people make when dancing their basic steps, but it's also one of the hardest things to correct in people because it's so fundamental and integral to the way people walk and to the way people transfer their weight in everyday life, okay? But essentially what you don't want, you don't want your feet and your hips to go to the same side, okay? So you don't want to step and for the hips and feet to go to the same side. Okay, which is a mistake a lot of people make quite often because they're used to putting their weight onto the side of their step. Okay, so when they're dancing their basic step, sometimes it looks like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven, dancing on two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. You don't want that, okay? So what you want is your hips, your hips to always be on the opposite side to what you're stepping. So this is the second counteraction, similar to the counteraction of the shoulders and arm in the other video. So if you haven't checked that video, go check out the video on counteraction between shoulders and arms. But what you want, you want to make sure that your hips are always on the opposite side. So locking that knee, allowing your weight to sit into that hip and then taking a step with the opposite foot. Okay? Now you can see there's no weight on my left leg. Okay? So when I'm taking a step, I don't have my weight on that side. I have my weight on the opposite side. And then as I transfer my weight across, that's when I can pick up my right foot and take a step with my right foot. So that's really important, getting the control on putting the weight on one side and taking a step with the opposite side rather than having your hips go to the same side as you're taking a step. One of the reasons this is a big thing is because there's a connotation associated with salsa having quite a lot of hip movement, which I forgot to mention. You got it now? <laughs> oh, that's sick. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, this is one of the most important things to me when it comes to body movement and weight transfer. I hope you practice it. If you're doing it the wrong way, correct it. If you have any questions, send me a message. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram. YouTube, other than that, lots of love and peace.